Let's talk about some of the common questions that arise from patients and from the Optic Neuritis Foundation uh, that have been called in or written in. One question that's asked, should my, eyes o should my eye or eyes always hurt? And the answer is no. If somebody has constant pain in the eye, then it's important to have it evaluated for other things besides optic neuritis because the pain of optic neuritis um, occurs mostly when the part of the optic nerve behind the eye is affected and it doesn't usually last much beyond um, 10 days to two weeks. So constant pain is not a manifestation of optic neuritis. The question, very common question is, what does a patient do who's been diagnosed with optic neuritis in whom uh, MS, multiple sclerosis, has already been diagnosed. You treat the manifestation of visual loss is the thing that brings somebody to raise the question, then visual loss is the condition that needs to be addressed. You want to make sure that it's due to MS. If it is a recurrence of optic neuritis, or you want to make sure it's not due to something else that would require a different form of treatment. Um, and you tell the neurologist who's treating you for MS that you think you may have had a recurrence of another attack, and does that affect the way he or she approaches your therapy? The question is whether or not steroids should be used or not be used in a person with optic neuritis. If I had optic neuritis and my vision was compromised severely in one eye, I'd want to be given steroids as quickly as possible. If visual loss is mild, then I would sit tight for a couple, three weeks and see whether vision returns to normal on its own. But there's no policy to treat all or not treat any patients with optic neuritis. It really depends heavily on the degree of visual loss. Uh, the question is, do oligoclonal bands and optic neuritis go together? Oligoclonal, oligoclonal bands are a manifestation of many inflammations of the nervous system, MS being the most common. But it also occurs in other inflammations of the nervous system. So if the reason someone is being evaluated for oligoclonal bands, just like anything else, you need to know why they have it before you treat it. But there is an association of oligoclonal bands with MS. The answer is yes. Does optic neuritis cause eyes to swell and water? No. Doesn't affect the external appearance of the eye at all. Neurosarcoidosis means that a person has sarcoidosis of the nervous system. Sarcoidosis is a condition of unknown cause. The demographics are that it most commonly occurs in African Americans and it most commonly presents with lung problems. Um, neurosarcoidosis occurs in a percentage of patients with generalized sarcoid, in which case the nervous system is affected. Uh, optic Neuritis from neurosarcoidosis is a relatively uncommon problem. It, again, the treatment depends upon the severity of visual loss. Um, there are medications that are given for neurosarcoidosis. Sometimes steroids are added to that regimen. And the visual loss of neurosarcoidosis is usually very sensitive to prednisone, so vision will return very quickly. The real issue is whether vision becomes steroid dependent. In other words, while they're getting the steroid, vision gets better, but when they come off the steroid, vision again gets worse. So there's no answer about treat or not treat. It depends upon the, the degree of visual loss. Uh, the question has always come up whether there are medications or measures to prevent MS, especially because uh, Advertisements from the United Kingdom and other European countries like Ireland uh, have suggested the possibility. The disease, there, there, are, there are a group of medications called disease-modifying therapies that are given to patients with MS. They have been proven to have a beneficial effect on recurrence of attacks of MS. There is nothing that can be taken in a healthy, person who's never been diagnosed with MS to prevent MS from happening. Stem cell therapy is a popular term uh, that is being applied to the treatment of a lot of conditions that previously had no treatment. There's no firm 
controlled, scientifically valid study uh, presently that says stem cell transplantation has any beneficial or preventative effect on the course of MS. Acupuncture is good for relaxation and useful in a lot of conditions. Again, there's no scientifically proven benefit of acupuncture in persons with optic neuritis. The question is whether Hashimoto's thyroiditis or whether CIDP, chronic inflammatory demyelinating uh, polyneuropathy, um, are associated with MS. And the, the second part of the question is, uh, why do my eyes always hurt? Hashimoto's is a form of thyroid disease. It doesn't produce optic neuritis. It can produce enlargement of the muscles behind the eye, and if they become large enough, they can press on the optic nerve. That's not inflammatory. That's something actually producing pressure on the optic nerve, and that can be treated. Uh, CIDP on rare occasions can produce optic neuritis. Again, it's usually very responsive to giving steroids. Uh, and if the, and to the, and the answer to the question, why do my eyes always hurt, requires somebody to carefully examine you so they can figure out what the problem is. There's no one answer to that question. It's like, why do you have a cough? It can come from a million things.